Hi guys! So welcome to Law Diaries Lex Comentarios. So for today's video, we are going to talk about Article 11 of the RPC which talks about justifying circumstances. So let us first read this provision guys. So subukan so tayo para may sulat natin dito yung provision ng law. So Article 11 of the RPC states that Justifying circumstances, the following do not incur any criminal liability. Number one, anyone who acts in defense of his person or rights provided that the following circumstances concur. First, unlawful aggression. Second, reasonable necessity of the means employed to prevent or repel it. Third one is lack of sufficient provocation on the part of the person defending himself. Number two, anyone who acts in defense of the person or rights of his spouse, ascendants, descendants, or legitimate natural or adopted brothers or sisters, or of his relatives by affinity in the same degrees, and those by consanguinity within the fourth civil degree, provided that the first and second requisites prescribed in the next preceding circumstance circumstances are present and the further requisite in case the provocation was given by the person attacked that the one making defense had no part therein number three anyone who acts in defense of the person or rights of a stranger provided that the first and second requisites mentioned in the first circumstance of this article are present and that the person defending be not induced by vengeance resentment or other evil motive number four any person who in order to avoid an evil or injury does an act which causes damage to another provided that the following requisites are present first that the evil sought to be avoided actually exists second that the injury feared be greater than that than to avoid it third that there be no other practical and less harmful means of preventing it number five is any person who acts in the fulfillment of a duty or in the lawful exercise of a right or office number six any person who acts in obedience of an order issued by a superior for some lawful purposes <sighs> oh diba nakakahingal super super haba itong article 7 guys as you may notice yung enumeration niya guys until number 6 so that haba itong provisions na to guys we are going to divide it by uh, by numbers no so for this video we are just going to uh, talk about the overview of justifying circumstances ganun ganun so ano nga ba to so I also would recommend to watch my previous video about Jemaa or or the introduction of article 11 to 50 so, what are these justifying circumstances, guys? So, Article 11, guys, talks about justifying circumstances or mga circumstances na hindi nag incur ng criminal liability. Tama ba? Oh. <laughs> niyo ba? So, ano nga ba yung justifying circumstances? So, yung justifying circumstances, guys, is yung mga bagay na nagawa mo which is in accordance to law. Kaya, wala siyang punishment. Again, bakit wala siyang punishment, guys? Wala siyang punishment kasi in accordance siya sa law. For example, if self-defense, di ba? Self-defense sa uh, yung self. Defense sa uh, yung uh, mga family or relatives, ganon, which is under paragraph 2. So, paragraph 3 is defense naman sa stranger or other person. Ganon. And then, sa number 4, in order to avoid the injury. For example, you are a truck driver. So, ito. So, kapag uh, magbabangga, may collision na, ga, na, na, mag, na magaganap. And in order for that, guys, na ma-avoid mo, so, lumiko ka doon sa isang corner. Corner. 
Tapos, sa pagliko mo, guys, nabangga or na, nabangga mo yung isang, for example, vehicle or, yeah, like motorcycle ng ibang tao. So, ginawa mo yon para ma-prevent mo yung injury na pagbangga pagbangga ng other vehicle. So, yun yun. Justifying yun, guys. But, before siya maging justifying, merong mga requisites doon, which we will discuss in our future videos. And, ito rin, justifiable din yung mga tao na nag, na gumagawa ng isang bagay kasi, uh, fulfillment ng kanilang duty. For example, yung, siguro yung mga uh, police, siguro na na nakabarel or ganun, di ba? Fulfillment yun ng kanilang duty. And then, yung Last one here is yung mga tao na sumusunod sa utos ng kanilang superior for some lawful purposes. So, again, guys, itong justifying circumstances, guys, is very, very long, very, very uh, lengthy siya sa book natin. So, we are going to divide this uh, into six, no, according to the numbers. So, basahin natin yung bongang-bongang definition talaga ng justifying circumstances, guys. So, justifying circumstances are those where the act of person is said to be in accordance with law. Ito yung sinasabi ko. So, that such person is deemed not to have transgressed the law and is free from both criminal liability, criminal and civil liability. So, there is no civil liability except in paragraph 4 of Article 11 where the civil liability is borne by the person benefited by the act. So, ano ba yung basis ng justifying circumstances na to, guys? So, the basis here is that the law recognizes the non-existence of a crime by expressly stating in the opening sentence of Article 11 that the persons therein mentioned do not incur any criminal liability. So, dito guys, again, sa Article 11, there is no crime committed. The act is being justified. So, yung act na ginawa mo is justifiable. So, hindi siya makukonsider na isang crime. So, kapag hindi siya makukonsider na isang crime, walang kaakibat na punishment non or walang criminal liability na katumbas non ganer so in stating that the persons mentioned therein do not incur any criminal liability article 11 recognizes the acts of such persons as justified such persons are not criminals as uh, so there is no crime committed so hindi ka mao consider na criminal kasi walang crime di ba ganun yun now let's go to the burden of proof ano ba tong burden of proof guys burden of proof means sino yung my burden na patunayan na yung ginawa niya is justifying circumstances talaga or sino yung tao na dapat mag shoulder or sino yung tao dapat mag prove na yung ginawa niya is justifying circumstances ganer yung burden of proof so the circumstances mentioned in article 11 are matters of defense and it is incumbent upon the accused in order to avoid criminal liability to prove the justifying circumstance claimed by him to the satisfaction of the court. So, yung burden of proof dito, guys, is yung accused. So, siya yung, siya yung my responsibility na patunayan sa court na, oh my God, court, judge, yung ginawa ko is self-defense, justifying yon yung mga ganun, ganun. So, siya yung my burden of proof na patunayan yon. So, I think this ends my video, guys. Again, this is just an overview of what Article 11 is all about. So, for the next video, we are going to discuss each of the paragraph of this provision because again, 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 ulit, ulit, this is a very, very long or lengthy provision because this provision is very important in the study of criminal law. So thank you so much for watching guys. Please do like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye!